In this video, I'll show you how to check whether you're connected to the internet within your Flutter application. This is going to work for all deployment targets. So whether you're deploying your application to the web, mobile or desktop, this strategy should work for you. We're going to be implementing a very simple application, which is going to check the status of the device on which it's running. And if it's connected to the internet, then it's going to tell us that you are connected to the internet within our actual application. And if I go ahead and switch the internet connection off, and the device doesn't have a connection anymore, then it's automatically going to update the UI, letting us know that you're not connected to the internet anymore. And if I go ahead, connect to the internet once more, then you're going to see that it's going to now let us know after it has established a connection again, that hey, you are connected to the internet once more. To implement the functionality of determining whether we're connected to the internet or not, we're going to be using our Internet Connection Checker Plus package, which is based upon the Connectivity Plus package. And this is an excellent package that allows you to determine what type of connection is your device using. So whether you're using mobile data or Wi-Fi, whether you're using a VPN connection connected using Ethernet, or if your device has Bluetooth or other things like that. So if you're ever in the need for determining what type of connectivity options your device supports, you can use the Connectivity Plus package. But to make our life easier, Easier, we're going to be using a package that builds on top of this called Internet Connection Checker Plus, which is going to make it very easy for us to implement this functionality. So let's copy this actual dependency. Let's minimize our actual browser window, come back to the pubspec.yaml file, and then paste this under the dependency section. With this done, that's pretty much all we had to do. So if you're planning to deploy the actual application on iOS, you don't have to do anything. If you're deploying it on Android, then you have to copy this actual use permission clause and instructions for all other device targets that you might want to deploy your Flutter application to can be found in the pub.dev page for this actual plugin. And just as a side note, links to all of the resources that I mentioned within this video, as well as a link to the source code can be found in the description below. So feel free to take a look at them if you're confused at any point. And as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel so that you get notified every time I released a new video. So let's minimize this once more. Let's come back to our Android side of things. Let's come to app, source, main, and then come to the Android manifest.xml. And then above the application tag, but underneath the manifest tag, we can place our use permission clause. With this done, this pretty much has concluded the actual setup for both iOS and Android. So now what we can do is actually start running our application on the actual simulator and see if it runs successfully and builds successfully. And then I will resume the video. Welcome back everybody. So as you can see that the application had built successfully and now we can proceed to the next step, which is to check whether we're connected to the internet or not. So to do that, I've created my home underscore page dot dart file, which contains a home page stateful widget, which currently just returns first build function a scaffold. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing here is creating a property on the actual home page state. And I'm going to say that this is going to be a Boolean value called is connected to internet. And to begin with, it's going to be false. Then what I'm going to be doing is creating the actual init state function on the home page state. And after the super classes init state has been called, I'm going to be setting up a subscription listener, which is going to subscribe to listening to the changes that happen to the actual internet connectivity for our device. So to get started, I will import the internet connection stat. And this class is going to come from the actual package that we had imported. And then I'm going to instantiate it. Once I've done that on this, I'm going to use the on status chain stream. And then to that, I am going to chain a listener function. This listener function is going to be fired every time some kind of a change event happens on the internet connection. So we can react to those changes within this function and do whatever thing that we need to do. As a good side note, whenever you're working with streams within Flutter, it's important that you dispose of them properly so that you don't get any memory leaks. So to do that, you can do as follows. You can create another property. So you can create another property on the actual homepage state class, and this is going to be of type stream subscription optional. And then I'm going to say that this is going to be called underscore internet stream subscription like so. And then we set up our listener function. As you can see, it returns to us a stream subscription. So I'll save the actual reference to that stream subscription within this variable that I had created. Then what I'll do is that I'll override the dispose function for this actual home page state. And this is going to be called when the actual widget gets disposed. And before the superclasses.dispose function is called, what I'm going to do is basically dispose my stream. So for that, I can do internet connection stream subscription question mark dot because this might be an optional so you're using a null aware operator here and then cancel so if the stream subscription is not null then we are going to be canceling it with this done i can come within here within my listener function and i can implement whatever functionality i want to implement so the first thing that i'd like to let you know is that the actual event that we get is of type internet status so what we can do is implement a switch 
statement and then basically implement the logic within the switch cases of what happens for the different internet connection. So for the actual value upon which we're going to switch, that's going to be the actual event that gets passed to us. And then the case here for the first one is going to be internet status. And then I can do dot and we have connected. And then after this, I'm going to copy the same thing and paste it once more. And I'm going to do internet case disconnected. And then for the default case, what I'm going to be doing is basically saying that we're going to default to is connected to internet being false. And then I will also break out of this. And one thing that we have to do is make sure that we actually do this call within set state like so. So now with this done, I'm going to copy this command and paste it twice more. And then what I'm going to do is as follows. If the internet status is dot connected, then the is connected to internet is true. Otherwise, if it's disconnected, it's false. And that's pretty much all we have to do. So with this done, before we actually call our switch statement, what I'm going to be doing is just printing the event to the console. So this way we can see the actual changes happening. So let's open up our debug console now. And then within the debug console, hopefully an event should be emitted once we restart our application. There we go. You can see it says internet status dot connected. If I go ahead and I then shut the Wi-Fi off, you're going to see that it says internet status disconnected. If I go ahead and then I can go ahead and turn it on once more, you're going to see that it after some time is going to tell me that internet status is now connected. Yeah, there we go. So now what I can do is actually create the UI, which is going to actually show us the changes in a more visual manner. So to do that, it's going to be very simple. All I'm going to do is come to my build function. And then for the scaffold here, I'm going to say that it's going to have a body, which is going to have a width, which will be the width of our device. Once this is done, I'm going to set a child for my scaffold, which is going to be a column. And the column is going to have a children's list, which for now is going to be empty. With this done, I'm going to set the main axis alignment and the cross axis alignment on the column. And then once this is done, I can come to the actual children's list. The first thing that we're going to be doing is actually adding an icon here. And the icon depends upon whether we're connected to the internet. So if we're connected to the internet, then the icon is going to be icons.wifi. And if that is not the case, then what I'm going to be doing is actually using icons.wifi underscore off, I believe is the correct one. With this done, we can do command save. And there we go. We're seeing Wi-Fi for now. Then what I'll do is that I'll increase the size for this to be 50. And after this, I'm going to set the color property is connected to internet. So if it's connected to internet, then the color for the actual icon is green. And otherwise, it's going to be red. And let's do save. So now we can see it. So now if I go ahead and I shut down the internet, it says not connected to the internet. So it looks good. And then after this, I'm going to add an actual text widget. And the text widget is also going to be displaying text that's dependent upon whether we're connected to the internet or not. So if we're connected to the internet, I'm going to say you are connected to the internet. Otherwise, we are going to be saying you are not connected to the internet. And that pretty much does it for us. So with this done, let's do command save. Let's see, it's showing me that you're not connected to the internet. If I go ahead and then unable internet once more. So this time we can use like mobile data, for example you're going to see that it says you're connected to the internet. And now if I shut it off, you can see that it says you're not connected to the internet. So with that, that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. I hope you learned a thing or two about how to determine whether your Flutter application is connected to the internet or not. As always, if you enjoyed the video, then please don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel so that you get notified every time I release a new video. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, keep learning, keep growing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.